Hi, myself Prati, and in this session we will discuss basics of PLSQL. The objective of this session is to discuss need of PLSQL, its benefit and main feature. Let's start this session. PLSQL stands for Procedural Language Structured Query Language. It is an extension of SQL language. Actually, it eliminates many restrictions of the SQL language. The primary objective of SQL is to query the database by using simple structured query language. SQL is designed on the concept of non-procedural language. It means that in order to retrieve the data, there is no need to write a program in case of SQL. It makes SQL more simple and easy to use. But due to this non-procedural nature of SQL, it has some limitations. SQL does not have any conditional statement. It does not support looping statement. We cannot create user-defined function and procedure in SQL and it also does not support exceptions. While in all other major programming language, we have all those features. And number of time in order to support a business logic, we require these features. So SQL has been extended to PLSQL, which adds procedural features to SQL. So PLSQL extends SQL by adding conditional statements, looping statements, user-defined functions, procedures, and exceptions, which we found in all other major programming language. So all these procedural constructs blend seamlessly with SQLs, make it a powerful tool or a language. So we can conclude that PLSQL combines SQL language, ease of data manipulation, and procedural language, ease of programming. Now let us discuss major benefit of PLSQL. The most important benefit of PLSQL is improved performance. As you can see in this figure, SQL statement are passed to Oracle server one at a time. It means that each time whenever we issue a statement, a call is made to the server for its resources. All these resources are opened and closed every time whenever we made a request for retrieval of data. It generates lot of network traffic, which results in slow processing. While in PLSQL, all these group of statements are combined together to form a block. This whole block is passed to the server only once and after processing, all the resources are closed, which results in faster execution of data and it also improves network traffic. So we can conclude that in SQL, there is a lot of network traffic because every SQL statement are executed individually. In PLSQL, all these group of statements become a program or block. This block of statement executed all together, which results into less network traffic and improved performance. Another advantage of PLSQL is modularization of our programs. We can divide the problems into small modules and all these small modules can be coded by using PLSQL block, which include three major sections, declare, begin and exception. We will discuss about all those sections in coming sessions. But at this moment, we can conclude that we can divide the problems into small modules by having PLSQL, which results into ease of programming. If we talk about the features of PLSQL, it support declaration of variables and constants. PLSQL also support exception handling. It means that whenever there is a runtime error, then that error will not be propagated to the calling environment. These errors can be handled by exception handling block of PLSQL. It allows the creation and calling of user defined functions and procedures, which were not possible in simple SQL. It support triggers. A trigger is a code which automatically got executed when some event occurs. Whenever we apply a primary key constraint on a column, you can visualize that system check every time whenever we insert a data for uniqueness of the key and its not null value. That code to check unique value or to not null value is executed automatically whenever we insert the data. So these type of codes are actually implemented internally by use of triggers. We can create our own user defined triggers with the help of PLSQL, which make it very powerful language. We will discuss in detail about triggers in coming sessions. P 
PLSQL also support cursors. It means that we can process a group of rows with the use of this concept. We will also discuss cursors in coming sessions. Of course, PLSQL supports SQL language. We can have all insert, update, delete and retrieve statements of SQL in PLSQL. And PLSQL also support object-oriented programming features. And in this course, we are going to discuss all these concepts of PLSQL one by one. Now let's have a tabular comparison of SQL and PLSQL. We have already discussed all its differences. Now it is a time to put it all together in this tabular comparison. So we have already discussed SQL does not have procedural capability. It does not have conditional looping or branching statements while PLSQL has all these features. SQL statements are passed to Oracle server one at a time results into lot of network traffic and slow performance. While in PLSQL group of statements are bundled together in a block, hence resulting into faster execution and lesser network traffic. In PLSQL, there is no provision to handle runtime errors and exception. While in PLSQL, we have all these through exception handling block. SQL does not support PLSQL while PLSQL supports SQL statements in its block. In SQL, there is no feature to create user defined variables and constant to store intermediate values. While in PLSQL, we can declare our own variables and constant to store intermediate values. In this course, we are going to discuss all these features of PLSQL one by one. Thanks for watching this video. And in next session, we will discuss architecture of PLSQL. To explore more about PLSQL, you can refer my book, Simplified Approach to DBMS. And also you can refer PLSQL for Beginners, a simplified approach, which is available at Kindle platform. Thanks for watching this video.